this is so crazy to me hear all these details because I've never talked to a composer ever. So <laughs> this is just so cool to get these inside looks to everything. Hi, I'm Michael Abels, the composer of Nope. Yo, everybody, my name is Brandon Perea. I play Angel Torres in Nope, and, and this, this is, is Trade, Trade Secrets. Secrets. Michael Abels. Brandon, great to meet you. Great to meet you in person. Finally, we've been Instagram friends for a little while, and yeah. I'm definitely a fan, so it's cool to be sitting here right now across from you, and I'm just so thankful to be here. Thank you, likewise, likewise. I've really been enjoying watching your performance for all these months as we work on post-production. Oh, thank you so much. Like yeah. I, I've been a fan of you, of course, since Get Out, Us, and now you're doing Nope as well. It's just incredible, the scores that you've crafted, and uh, I use them a lot in my <laughs> Uh, my, my social settings, like when we're playing this really? game called Mafia, I love to play the Get Out score or the Us score because it really brings in the tone of like this serious spooky vibe. And oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so that's definitely something I utilize in my, <laughs> my social gatherings. So wow, well, thank you for providing that, truly. <laughs> absolutely. How did you get involved with Jordan first? I, I don't know this story, so I'm excited to hear how you got involved with Jordan. I uh, have been writing music all my life and um, especially music for orchestra. And I wrote a lot of concert music, you know, for in the concert hall. Some of that was on YouTube. I had a couple dozen hits. One of them was Jordan, when he was looking for someone to score Get Out. And he was looking for, I think, someone who could write in really scary style, but also who understood the African-American experience. So um, he had the producers hunt me down and uh, took a meeting. That's incredible. Isn't it? Uh, was Jordan's introduction in, into film, and that was, was it your introduction into filmmaking as well? I had done, you know, some commercials and stuff in college, but had not really made any headway in the industry. So to get a call from Jordan Peele out of the blue was really a dream. Wow, all right, because this is insane to me. I'm actually learning stuff as we're talking. I just listened to the score recently for Nope, and it's another home run, and it's so different oh, from thanks. Get Out and Us. Because, you know, Jordan kind of crafted this film on a grander scale. Mm -hmm. It's very big, and I feel like you have just done that with sound and the instruments you've chosen. Well, thank you. It's so great to get a new kind of style and edge from you, and also where you still sprinkle in, like your your little things that you do with like the little, the shadow sounds of, ah, oh, <laughs> like, I hear a couple of those, and I'm like, oh, that's Abel's, man. But then I'm like, but this is so different. It's just so cool to see you both grow as artists and as a fan. I'm just so pleased to be in a film that you're scoring. It was clear that the film was a lot bigger in scale than any of the others, and so it was important that the sound, the music, step that up, too, and, and fill that space and really play into what a big summer movie needs to be but in the world of Jordan Peele, which no one has seen yet. Jordan has his style of filmmaking and you have your style of composing and I feel like them together is just ultimate power of artists coming together. Well, I got a question for you as an actor. We haven't met even though we've been on socials, um, but I feel like I know you only because part of my job is to watch your performance in the film as I'm scoring it. A lot of times I don't meet the actor until it's at the premiere party. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, how are you doing? And they're <laughs> like, who is this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'm wondering when you see the film and you hear the music, like what does the music provide for an actor's experience of the film? And how does what's that like for you? Oh, score is so important. It's key for an audience member. Um, and that's what's crazy about being an actor. You're so locked in to the dialogue that's going on. You're having a conversation, you're acting, performing, all these emotions are running, but it's silent. And then when you hear score subtly in there and then it kind of grows into this grand scale, it just helps storytelling so much and it's one of the key components of filmmaking. There's times where it can go over the general public's head. Like they don't know that that's even going on, but mm -hmm. that's causing emotion for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it raises the stakes. I was watching dailies from Nope and where I'm just watching like little quick cuts and edits and then it's without score. And I'm like, oh wow, this is great. Like, oh, amazing. And then scores involved. I'm like, how'd this get better? There's so many historical sounds that have been created through composing. I feel like that's, what you've done with this, crazy hearing pieces in this where I'm like, oh wow, these sounds are gonna live on forever. All of Jordan's movies contain some kind of satire of something, yeah. you know? So the Jupiter's Claim theme park was a great chance to provide a soundtrack for this theme park that doesn't really exist, but yeah. in Jordan's world, we play it like it's legit, you know? So it was great to act like that was a real thing. I feel really lucky when I get to collaborate with him and help him. These crazy ideas that he comes up with help them seem as real as they are when he thinks them up. Do actors' performances kind of inspire 
certain sounds or instruments that you like to bring in in order to display to get a performance going? Like, is there anything that? Yeah, for sure. I, the actors, you know, mostly a composer talks to the director about what he or she wants for the film. Every director has a really specific idea of music that they begin with and they work with the composer to help find the unique score to their film. Thinking about your performance, like your character, so we've never talked about your character, but when I just watch your performance, I get about him like what a hopeful guy Angel is. Mm. I just feel like his life is filled with possibility. He has just gone through a bad time, but now he's got this thing that's fascinating him and he's really lit up by it. And I get that, it's not in the script, it's just from you know watching your performance. Oh, and I can't even explain how I feel that, but it was it was from watching you. There's a couple scenes where Jordan's instructions to me was that it's a bad miracle, and you gotta be able to have music that's one part, oh shit, and one part, oh my God, mm. you know? And, and so the music I'm doing is trying to do that. The look on your face in a couple of those scenes, I was like, that's the thing that I need to capture in music. What that actor's doing is the thing that's my job to reinforce. It's crazy to hear, this is this is so crazy to me hear all these details because I've never talked to a composer ever. So mm. this is just so cool to get these inside looks to everything. You played that line so well where you gave all these emotions and it was just so crazy to hear score where it's like you're giving all hope and then there's times where you take it away yep. in the sound <laughs> and it's so, it's like creepy, crawly, like ants on my back. I'm like, oh, that's scary, that's scary. <laughs> Jordan really uses the slowdown of music and sound as a warning sign to let you know that it's, it's something really bad's about to happen. So cool to even be a part of one of the projects that you both are on. It's insane. I'm so glad to be having this conversation with you. I think a lot of your work is just, it lives on forever, truly. Like what you've yeah. done with the score of Get Out, especially, it's just, it's so good. And it's just sounds that people will resonate with forever. Those sounds that you've crafted, those haunting sounds and those beats and drums, all those sounds together, it's gonna live on forever, truly. One of the conversations I have with Jordan is about is about rhythm because the rhythms are really important. But you know, some rhythms make you wanna dance and some let you know that something bad's about to happen yeah. and maybe you ought to run and not dance. The difference between those is kind of slight sometimes. So. I'm always, when I'm coming up with rhythms, I want to be ones that make people want to dance a little. And sometimes he'll say, hmm, it's not scary enough. You know? uh, yeah. <laughs> and I have to go back and make it less dance and more scary. I love the ones that are kind of both though, where it's like Me you too. have that Me rhythmic, too. like where it's like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. And then it's just like, never mind. Like, yeah. oh, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. Okay, gotta go. well, I'm right with you because I think that dance rhythms can be scary too. This has been such a pleasure. I yeah, just, cheers, just uh, thank you. Thank you for chatting with me. It's great that our first time meeting is documented. And uh, yeah, I'm just so grateful to be here. This is it's crazy to me. I'm talking to Michael Abel. Nope, it's here in the movie. This is, is a dream come true. This is bigger than a dream. Like, you, you know, our movie thing is a bad miracle. This is the greatest miracle of all time for me.